In this video, we're going to compare our two models of precision bearing packers. Uh, we have our standard precision bearing packer, and then we have our mini uh, precision bearing packer. First of all, let's talk about the standard. We originally built this bearing packer uh, to solve the problem of overpacking the bearings. And you wonder, like, what, what do I mean by overpacking bearings? In a, in a high performance application, which is what all of these, these tools are, are built for, in a high performance, like a racing application, what happens is if you pack a bearing completely full, which is standard and perfectly fine in a, in a typical automotive application because it's low RPM. But in a racing application, you have the bearing goes from low RPM to high RPM really fast. And that having the bearing overpacked actually creates heat. And as the bearing, as the bearing grease gets hotter, the lubricant separates from the binding agents more. And ultimately, the bearing does self-clean, so the, the bearing will push all the extra grease out. The issue is, as it gets hot so fast, it actually pushes out a higher amount of the lubricant and what you're left with in the bearing once it gets cleaned out is a lower quality lube. So we don't want that happening. We've also noticed that it can build up enough heat that it'll actually blow, in some cases, if the hub's not vented, it can blow the seal out of the back of the hub. So the solution to that, uh, which we were informed of from bearing manufacturers, is to properly pack the bearings. As a general rule, we only want to pack the bearings about 50% full, and that's more than enough to have a full film of lubricant around each of the rollers and the race. So how do we pack the bearings 50% full? That's where the bearing packers, uh, precision bearing packers come in. So the precision bearing packers have a needle, and the needle actually injects the grease right in between the bearing rollers. In this version, the full size um, a precision bearing packer, we use a standard 400 gram cartridge, which packs approximately 125 bearings or so. This is also designed to actually go into a vise, so you actually put the head of the, the packer in the vise, and then of course inject the grease. The other part about the standard bearing packer is it uses individual bearing seats for each type of bearing. So this particular bearing packer is really designed for a professional race team that's doing specific types of bearings uh, uh, for specific cars. And it works really well. This was our original. In effort to come up with a slightly lower cost bearing packer and a way to make it more universal, we developed the mini bearing packer. And uh, it works the same way. It just uses a smaller grease gun, smaller 100 gram cartridge. 100 gram cartridge will, pa uh, will pack approximately 32 bearings. Still uses the needle to inject uh, the bearings with grease. Uh, but, the, but the head on this one doesn't use a, a bearing seat. It's actually universal. So you can put practically any bearing over it and the needle just goes in between on the rollers. On this one, it is handheld. So it's designed for you to hold it in your hand and hold the bearing on it and then just squeeze and inject the grease right in between the bearing rollers. Again, we only pack the bearings 50% full. You can actually go a little less than that, but we normally uh, recommend 50% full, and that's just doing every other bearing. So do one set of rollers, skip a roller, and then pack the next one. Skip a roller, and then pack the next one. And you just go right around the bearing like that. It takes maybe a minute or so to pack a bearing, and you get no grease on your hands.